The Ukraine-Russia conflict is starting to show the gravely adverse effects of a war. According to the United Nations Refugee Agency UNHCR, more than 875,000 people have now left Ukraine since Russia launched its invasion. Oil prices have soared past $110 a barrel, despite International Energy Agency members agreeing to release 60 million barrels from stockpiles. Russia is refusing to back down, and the country's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, has warned that if a third world war were to take place, it would involve nuclear weapons and be destructive. President Putin's actions have several consequences, many of which will be detrimental to Russia in the long term. One of the most important of which is Germany's 180-degree shift in geostrategic posture. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Russia found a new enemy in Germany with Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Let's get started. President Putin had worked to create a divide in NATO, and Germany was a key to his plan. He had created a special relation with Germany, and many experts viewed Germany as NATO's Achilles heel. While many countries were sending lethal armaments to Ukraine as the Russian invasion looked imminent, Germany, which is Europe's richest country and one of the world's top five biggest exporters of arms, offered to send helmets, 5,000 of these. The offer of helmets was openly ridiculed by some Ukrainian officials, and Kyiv's mayor, Vitaly Klitschko, dismissed the offer as a joke and said it had left him speechless. But as the Russian invasion started and the onslaught took a more vicious turn, Germany's political leaders began to accept the new reality. The first signs of the shift came when Germany, the last major country to resist plans to suspend Russian banks from the international payment system SWIFT, finally accepted the move. Also, after dragging its feet over allowing Estonia to send some East German howitzers and Netherlands to send 400 German-made rocket-propelled grenades, it agreed to allow both the transfers. Soon after that, Berlin announced its own plans to send missiles, armored vehicles, and 10,000 tons of fuel. Ukraine's ambassador to Germany, who had earlier criticized the government for doing too little for Ukraine, called the German Federal Parliament Bundestag session a truly historic moment. While these are short-term moves, there are two developments that indicate Germany is now ready to pull its weight and stand up to Russia. Germany is very much dependent on Russia when it comes to meeting its energy needs. About 55% of Germany's gas imports come from Russia, as well as approximately 50% of hard coal and 30% oil. The dependency had been increased in recent times due to Germany's decision to phase out its nuclear reactors. It initiated the process of shutting down half of the six nuclear plants it still has in operation. The final deadline for shutting them down is 2022. At the same time, a decision has been made to phase out coal-fired power by 2038 at the latest. But concerns about Germany's energy security because of the latest developments has put a question mark on these plans. The economics ministers of the 16 German states have already called for an examination of longer operating times for both coal-fired and nuclear power plants. Economics Affairs and Energy Minister Andreas Pinkwert of Germany's most populous state, North Rhine-Westphalia NRW, stated, All options must be on the table, indicating Germany may not stop the operation of coal and nuclear power plants as per earlier schedule. There is also a plan being floated to build two liquid natural gas terminals 
to bring in LNG from Qatar and the US as a way to reduce its energy dependence on Russia. So it's evident that in the coming days, Russia will not only lose a lot of revenue from Germany, but also have much lesser leverage on NATO. Speaking to the Bundestag in a special session on Sunday, the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced a massive 100 billion euro fund to modernize the military. He also vowed that Germany would finally meet its NATO commitment to spend 2% of its gross domestic product yearly on defense, up from the present 1.5%. Viewers may note that a low current spendings has long frustrated German allies, many of whom, including the USA, have expressed a strong dissent many times. The plan has been termed as a watershed moment by many experts. It's to be taken into consideration that Schultz's cabinet that had taken the reins from Angela Merkel barely three months ago had no intention of getting into this. Schultz said, President Putin created a new reality with his invasion of Ukraine. This new reality requires a clear response. We have given it. A growing public outrage over German hesitancy to act seems to have forced Schultz's cabinet to make this move, which was almost unimaginable previously because of its World War II guilt-ridden physiology. The Chancellor now plans on replacing Germany's aging tornado jets, which can be loaded with nuclear missiles, with American fifth-generation F-35 stealth fighter jets. Germany's GDP is much higher than Russia's. Hence, it can potentially prop up its military swiftly when push comes to shove. It's increasingly becoming clear that President Putin has made some miscalculations that will ferment to a significant security challenge for Moscow in the future. So it's evident that Putin will now have to deal with a potentially hostile Germany. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.